been an awful lot of rumblings with the the new Neko hooks and the Elaztec stuff from Z-Man, and we get some questions about how do you keep, how do you keep your half moons or your nail weights in. These are just nail weights that go into the end of your in your bait, and I'm just going to go through some of the stuff that I do and how I rig it. And I just kind of appropriately size my hook to my bait, but I'm gonna rig one up here real quick for you. The way we've been rigging it lately is a little bit different than people are used to, I think. If you look at the design of this bait, or any of these baits for that matter, one of them's got a little bit more of a tapered end than the other. One of them's a little more blunt and the other one's a little more tapered. You can see it really well on this bait. This is the uh, big TRD pointed blunt. You can see the difference. I always go for the pointed end. That way when I'm fishing cover or anything like that, when I'm pulling it back to the boat, it's a lot more aerodynamic or hydrodynamic, whatever you want to say. It'll crawl through the it'll crawl through the vegetation, the wood, the brush, the rocks, whatever it might be that you're fishing, point it in first. So it'll not snag nearly as bad. If you're kind of a beginner at this, I'd recommend maybe trying the half moon at first. The whole idea of this is you want this to fall straight like a pencil. You don't want it to do anything. You don't want it to turn or, or drift on you as it goes to the bottom. I like it to just go straight down, straight up, straight down. That's all this is. So with that being said, the half moon tends to pull that bait straight down, not giving you much of any error as far as getting, it, getting this in straight. It's a little harder to get the nail weights in straight, but they stay in a lot better. If anyone's ever tried doing this, they know what this is all about. It's it's pretty. It's kind of tricky to get these things straight, but once you get them, it works really, really well. I'll just would drive that nail weight in, and just kind of work it and get that thing straight in there as you possibly can. That's looking okay. I've done better before, but that'll probably work for right now. And then a lot of people will take. So you can see, I put that nail weight all the way in. You can't see it, but. People will super glue that. And that's a good way to keep these in, keep them from falling out. Cause what'll happen, you know, you'll hook a fish, they'll come up, shake this thing all over the place. And a lot of times it'll send that nail weight flying out. But the other thing that I've found recently is that um, Elastec is very flammable. What you can do is you can melt your hole closed. Once you get that hole closed up and you can melt that end shut, your weight, has basically got nowhere to go now. Once you seal that end by melting it, you know, that weight is gonna last a really, really long time because you sealed that hole off, you melted it shut. So a fish is gonna have a lot harder time throwing that weight. But that's a, that's a pretty good little looking bait right there. It's just a funny deal. I don't know why the heck it works so well, but it does. People have been kinda using it lately and I saw a video that I'd done last summer on this little rig and it's been it's got some attention from a from a number of people. We actually call it the tiny child rig. So good a tiny child can even catch fish on it. 